नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल ह्यूबेड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द फिफ्टी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एज यू नो वी आर सॉल्विंग फिजिक्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस पेपर एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अवर सिक्स वन इन द सीरीज अ मोल ऑफ अ मोल ऑफ मोनो एटोमिक आइडियल गैस मोनो एटोमिक आइडियल गैस एट एटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस एक्सपांड्स आर डायाबेटिकली to 8 times its initial volume considering the universal gas constant as r 8.31 joule per mole kelvin find the uh, the final temperature and the change in the internal energy of the gas respectively are closest to for temperature we have two options 90 kelvin 45 kelvin and for internal energies we have uh, a change in the internal energy we have four different options so we have to find both of them okay just finding the temperature won't be enough because then that will leave two of the uh, four options out acha so uh, number of moles is one in usual notations we can write it as n1 uh initial temperature let's call it t1 it is 87 degrees celsius so how much will it be in kelvin 87 plus 273 that is 360 360 kelvin okay uh eight times its initial volume so v2 is eight times v1 okay v2 is eight times v1 considering the universal gas constant r that's given 8.31 joule per mole kelvin okay find okay the final temperature we need to find t2 t2 find t2 and also the change in the internal energy of the gas so we need to find delta in usual notations okay we note that the processes are diabetic we note that the processes are diabetic which means q will be zero that's the by definition okay now if we apply the first law of thermodynamics okay then delta u is equal to q minus w okay delta u is equal to q minus w and because q is zero delta u must be equal to negative w correct now work is being done by the system because it is expanding at a vertical so its boundaries are expanding okay its volume is increasing okay so the change in the internal energy will be negative okay see work is being done on the uh, by the system okay work is being done by the system okay by the system so work will be positive by convention and delta w uh, delta u is negative w so delta u will be negative okay so as uh, so very simple consequence of what was given okay now how are we going to start uh, we have two equations with us okay we'll write down both of them the first one is the well the process the adiabatic process equation p1 v1 raised to gamma is equal to p2 v2 raised to gamma uh the gas is monoatomic it is given in the problem the gas is monoatomic so what will be the ratio of specific heats gamma okay it's monoatomic so gamma will be 5 by 3 gamma will be 5 by 3 correct okay now uh from this what can we write see we know the volume ratio right v2 is equal to 8v1 okay so we can say v2 by v1 raised to gamma Okay, v2 by v1 raised to gamma is equal to p1 by p2. P1 by p2. Okay, so what is v2 by v1? v2 by v1 is 8. v2 by v1 is 8 from this. v2 by v1 is 8. Okay, v2 by v1 is 8. And how much is gamma? Gamma is uh, 5 by 3. Okay, we know that uh, 8 is cube of 2, so this will be 32. Okay, two raised to three raised to five by three. Okay, so three three will go, and then it will be thirty. Okay, this is uh, first equation, and the second one is because the mass is is not changing. Okay, we still have the same number of molecules. Okay, so we can write this p one v one by t one. P one v one by t one is equal to p two v two by t two. Okay, as uh, we have. same number of moles oh, basically it is a closed system that's what i'm going to say okay 
fine so uh, we will say t2 by t1 is equal to t2 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 upon p1 v1 okay now have we found out p2 by p1 okay okay well we actually don't know p2 by p1 but we know p1 by p2 it is 32 so this p2 by p1 will be 1 upon 32 okay it will be 1 upon 32 into how much is v2 by v1 it is 8 v2 by v1 is 8 so t2 by t1 will be 8 upon 32 or 1 upon 4 so t2 will be fourth of t1 how much is t1 t1 is 360 kelvin 360 kelvin upon 4 so that will be 90 kelvin okay and as we expected it is less than the original temperature okay internal energy will be change in the internal energy will be negative so 90 kelvin so it is either a or b okay it is either a or b now how are we going to determine the change in the internal energy of the system that is delta u we know that the gas is monoatomic and uh, only one mole of the gas is present so using the two facts that it is monoatomic ideal gas of course and it has only one mole okay we have only one mole of ideal gas we can say delta u is equal to 3 by 2 r delta t okay you can refer to the results of kinetic theory for this uh, formula so this is change in internal energy delta u equal to 3 by 2 ideal gas constant is how much 8.314 is that the one that they have given us oh, okay 8.31 so it should not consider 4 into delta t 360 minus 90 or well 90 minus 360 90 minus 360 so it will be negative 3 by 2 into 8.31 into 270 okay so it's a negative 3 into 8.31 into uh, so this is 270 270 divided by 2 will be 135 okay 135 into 3 how much will that be 405 into 8.31 now let us go to the options okay see now this is uh, 8.31 okay this is 8.31 uh, okay, so this we can approximate this as uh, 4 into 831 roughly 4 into 831 and this is definitely not going to cross uh, 4000 this is not going to cross 4000 correct because 05 is, is not going to contribute much okay so it will be 4 into 831 uh, approximately if, if you play if you shift this decimal point here so it will be 4.05 into 831 or 4 into 831 so the answer closest to that will be uh, 3365 okay 3365 let us verify this on calculator now uh, okay so we have 3 into 8.31 into 270 divided by 2 Yes, that, that is 3365.55, so our answer is correct. So which op option is right? Option A, 90 Kelvin and 3365 Joules.